Name me a country in the world where the banking app is the center of your life. And we go live. I want to talk about the uh, topic of super apps with you. Darren, we all know that super apps as a model has been successful in China. Uh, we have examples of Alipay kind of apps and WeChat kind of apps. The entire world is after replicating that model. In Southeast Asia, we see Grab and Gojek trying to do that and even a couple of other internet companies and telco companies. And in India, the model is still yet to take off. But I would just love to hear from you that A, is the super app model actually replicable outside China? And second, if so, what will it what will it really take for these apps to actually become profitable and something that they don't have to again and again prove their reason of existence? So I'll take a pause and I would love to hear your views on super apps. Yeah, sure. I mean, I come at this from two angles. There's kind of, is it possible to create a super app from a technology standpoint? And the answer is obviously yes. Like it's not that hard to create an app that has multiple products within it, if you like, like a whether they're your app, uh, your products or an ecosystem set of partnerships like that. That's not the hard part, to be honest to me. The hard part is if you look at the successful super apps, like the ones in Korea, the ones in China, they've had like a really good hook that gets the customers in. And that's typically not been how they monetized it necessarily. So if you think about WeChat, for example, the, the hook was social, you know, social engagement, et cetera, and it became very pervasive. Only later on did they start to layer on other services and quite a bit later on financial services, for example. And so is it replicable? Yes, you can quite easily build a super app. You know, the tech part of it is not so complex. Can you replicate um, getting the scale? I find that the scale comes from something like, uh, you know, social networking or even, you know, you could argue that Grab with its ride hailing just acquired millions of customers and then later on layered on the services. That takes a degree of patience, right? That takes a degree of, well, a large degree of cash for a start, because if you look at these firms, they often burn for a crazy amount of cash to scale pretty quickly. And so that's not so replicable, right? Because not everybody has the stomach to do that. Not everybody wants a business model that's based on, you know, a massive VC cash injection for years and then maybe seeing monetization. Um, and, and I don't know if it's the right business model for everybody. I think there is a way to make your app better and have an ecosystem play that isn't a super app, if you like. I'll pause there. So, uh, Kelvin, in regards to the bank apps, you know, there are a lot of banks are actually trying to evolve as a super app. What they are doing is on adding some new features, does not matter whether people are picking it up or not, right? So, from fintech and banking perspective, what are your thoughts on banks that are trying to do that? Anything to add to what Darren just said? Oh, I have a very simple question. Name me a country in the world where the banking app is the center of your life. Anyone? Who, who <laughs> no. wakes up in the morning and goes, <laughs> Damn, I really would love to open my bank app and do some transactions. Right? Is that, that's, that's generally not the sentiment from a consumer perspective. Which is why, as Darren rightly pointed out, these successful super apps have a social, a massive social element to it. Uh, WeChat, uh, Alipay, to begin with, they started out with, well, a, a wallet somewhat to some extent, and, and a social network, right, essentially. Which is why sometimes there is questionable whether right hailing can ever truly evolve to become a super app if there is no social element. Because at some point, at, at any point in time, I can have five different right hailing apps on my phone and I will pick and choose on the basis of price listed. Uh, back to the original questions, do I think banks have a shot at becoming a successful super app? Uh, they can try, but I don't believe that there is... I think there is a white space for it whereby there is no dominant player in some of the far more developing markets. Uh, I think Nubank probably has a shot in Brazil if they, if they do introduce some kind of social element because they have a massive user base now and Brazil is not particularly well penetrated by by any uh, single one vertical. So in those cases, possibly it could change the market, but in an existing uh, developed markets and in most developing markets, it'll be really, really tough. Clearly, I, I lean the other way, right? I say, forget about uh, be trying to be a super app, build the platform that all super apps can plug into so that they, you can offer your services to them. That's, that's the way I'm thinking about it. Yeah.